Thank you very much. Now, an amateur scientist believes he could have captured the Loch Ness Monster on videotape. Yorkshireman Gordon Holmes was carrying out experiments at the famous loch when, by chance, he happened to spot a strange creature in the waters. Now, film of the incident is causing a sensation. Well, we can now join our own Nessie hunter by the shores of the loch, Nicola McCallie. Nicola, it seems uh, Nessie's back in time for summer. Well, Kirsten, the legend of the Loch Ness Monster dates right back to 565 AD when St Columba was said to have seen a strange monster in the waters behind me here. Now, since then, tales of Nessie have surfaced regularly and she's become something of an icon right around the globe. So whenever there are tales of new sightings, it sparks something of a frenzy and it's certain that these new pictures will already be causing a stir. And as you can see for yourselves, there's definitely something in the water. Could this be the Loch Ness Monster? This footage was taken at the weekend by an amateur scientist who happened to spot a fast-moving creature swimming across the world-famous loch. Gordon Holmes from Yorkshire had been undertaking some amateur scientific tests on the loch, recording sounds from the deep with special hydrophonic equipment. But nothing prepared him for the prospect of actually setting eyes on what could be the elusive Nessie, an event he luckily captured on film. I suspect that um, if they can't quite figure out quickly what it is, it'll take years for them of continual argument. And who knows, if it, if it turns out to be an unknown uh, creature, unknown species, um, that's going to flood the uh, local tourism in the area. Gordon took his tape to local experts who say it warrants further scrutiny. And so far, the jury's out. It has the appearance of an animal of some sort in Loch Ness. The, the issue, of course, is how big is it and what is it? And I'm afraid that is going to have to await some further assessment. Uh, there are, of course, a number of creatures in Loch Ness that can give rise to wakes. And, you know, they would include otters, seals and water birds. Gordon hopes to have the tape further analysed to try to get to the bottom of the Nessie mystery. But even from a scientific viewpoint, he believes the Loch Ness legend stands up to scrutiny. Of all the things that are sort of uh, unknown, I think the Loch Ness monster is the one that's got the most credibility due to reliable witnesses in the past and also due to these sonar contacts. I mean, you just can't throw those kind of ideas away and, uh, and ignore them. I think you've got to, you need science to look deeper into it. So could Nessie have been captured on film? Well, no doubt the images will undergo further analysis as people try to work out what the creature is. But in the meantime, it's another mystery at the heart of Loch Ness. Well, Nicola, is this going to herald a fresh stampede of Nessie hunters? Well, Kirsten, thousands and thousands of people brave the midges and weather like we have here today to come here to the loch in search of the elusive monster. So no doubt these new pictures are going to spark a huge, huge wave of interest. They'll be analysing them to try to determine exactly what the creature is. Uh, no doubt this new sighting is music to the ears of the thousands of people in the local area who depend on Nettie for the tourism industry. Uh, and, of course, we can't see anything here today. She's a bit shy at the moment. But uh, the legend of the Loch Ness Monster, one way or another, will continue to live on. Back to you. Of course it will. Thanks very much, Nicola.